बिस्मिल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्टीन्यू आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम जेनेटिक्स और प्राइमरी कॉजेज ऑफ हाइपर कॉगुलबिलिटी स्टेट इन आवर बॉडी सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट सम इक्वाइर्ड और इन्वायरमेंटल एसोसिएटेड और सेकेंडरी कॉजेज ऑफ हाइपर कॉगुलबिलिटी सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू इम्पोर्टेंट अबाउट फ्यू इम्पोर्टेंट डिजीज एंड अबाउट फ्यू इम्पोर्टेंट कंडीशंस एज वेल सो दिस इलेक्शन इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट स्पेशली सम लास्ट स्लाइड्स आर आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज यू एच एस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट Required or secondary causes of hypercoagulability in detail, and we will discuss certain two, uh, one to two condition like uh, heparin-induced thrombocytopenia syndrome or antiphospholipid syndrome antibodies, and all, we will also discuss about differences or uh, we will compare arterial thrombus with venous thrombosis, and we will discuss post-mortem clot for, uh, and the uh, lastly we uh, we will discuss about the fate uh, fate of thrombus, the fate. के किस थ्रोम्बस लास्टली एंड ऑफ दी थ्रोम्बस क्या हो सकता है here you can see some important uh, you can watch some important uh, secondary causes or required causes of uh, thrombosis like uh, uh, cardiac failure due to pumping failure or due to cardiac failure you can say blood movement movement of blood become uh, gradually slow so uh, decrease in movement ca uh, cause pooling of blood so pooling of blood uh, 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 so uh, when pooling of blood uh, starts it can cause in it can cause more chances of clot formation trauma is also associated with <coughs> the uh, clot formation so uh, trauma uh, uh, trauma can cause thrombus uh, uh, stasis especially in veins uh, you can we have already discussed in our previous lecture about laminar flow and the venous stasis so disturbance in uh, uh, disturbance in blood flow especially in the veins uh, or uh, this is actually a stasis stage so stasis is also a disturbance in flow so disturbance in flow can cause coagulation और थ्रोम्बस देन आ जाता है वेस्कुलर इंजरी वेस्कुलर इंजरी इज एक्चुअली एसोसिएटेड ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड ट्रोमा सो ड्यूरिंग एनी ट्रोमा और ड्यूरिंग और विदाउट एनी ट्रोमा वेन इंटरनल ब्लीडिंग अकर और एनी इंजरी टू वेस्कुलर और एनी इंजरी टू ब्लड वेसल अकर देन इट कैन कॉज इट कैन कॉज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लोट और इट कैन इनहांस द चांसिस ऑफ क्लोट फॉर्मेशन इन ब्लड औरल यूज ऑफ यूज ऑफ औरल कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव और एक्सेसिव यूज ऑफ औरल कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव कैन कॉज इंक्रीज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लोटिंग फैक्टर्स फ्राम लीवर सो इंक्रीज सिंथिस ऑफ क्लोटिंग फैक्टर फ्राम लीवर का एंड ऑल्सो कॉज डिक्रीज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एंटी थ्रोमिन थ्री प्रोटीन फ्राम लीवर सो यू कैन से दो proteins which are responsible for the production of uh, 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 inhibition of uh, those are which is responsible for the inhibition of uh, uh, clot formation uh, gets decreased due to use of oral contraceptives or uh, stimulation of liver and those uh, those proteins which are actually responsible for the uh, clot formation gets uh, increased due to uh, uh, due to oral contraceptives by the liver so they uh, you uh, So we, there are some uh, stages associated with cancers so like in adenoid carcinoma there are more chances of platelet aggregation or in uh, some uh, platelet aggregation chances of platelet aggregation gets increased okay and so these are all about uh, these are uh, these were uh, some common uh, uh, secondary causes or required causes or environmental causes of uh, uh, hypercoagulability state let's discuss about two important examples one is heparin induced thrombocytopenia 
heparin induced thrombocytopenia <laughs> we have already studied that heparin is actually a natural anticoagulant heparin cause heparin can cause heparin production is occurs in our uh, body as well so naturally occurred heparin can cause uh, natural uh, can cause anti uh, can cause uh, inhibition of clot formation so uh, whenever uh, we uh, whenever uh, uh, whenever and uh, heparin is used from externally or unfractionated uh, unfractionated heparin is used uh, uh, in some patients externally then antibodies uh, because heparin because those heparin proteins actually uh, is actually foreign so uh, due to foreignness antibodies formed against heparin so those antibodies which are formed against heparin and heparin is actually natural molecule production so uh, those antibodies can cross act with the uh, platelets of host or uh, or can damage to, or can cause damage to endothelium of the uh, endothelium of the patient so these we can say these antibodies can act as auto antibodies toward our uh, body what are the role of auto antibodies auto matlab auto mean automatic antibodies mean uh, antibodies you know uh, certain molecular proteins which can uh, which can cause destruction of any or lysis of any cell so auto antibodies are actually can auto antibodies are actually those antibodies which cause a damage of our uh, body cells which can damage uh, 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 which can cause uh, damage against our body uh, our body cells it means it means that auto antibodies are dangerous for our uh, body because it can it can eat our uh, tissue organ or cells uh, so uh, it's uh, auto antibody formation is not normal procedure uh, another important thing is antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. Antiphospholipid is antibody syndrome is a, a cause of recurrent thrombosis. Recurrent thrombosis mean formation of thrombus uh, after uh, 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 after different intervals in, uh, in different time. Uh, so recurrent thrombosis, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome uh, can cause uh, uh, can attack on the phospholipid membrane of our body cell so if antibodies uh, so you can say uh, uh, so you should uh, uh, you should clear that the uh, antiphospholipid antibodies are actually auto antibodies which can uh, react with or uh, react with our body tissues and which can damage uh, uh, our body our own body tissue so um, repeated miscarriages occurs when a patient with when a female is suffering from with anti antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and uh, along with uh, uh, pregnancy then it can cause damage to placenta because there are uh, phospholipid there are cells are present in uh, placenta and the uh, and the membrane is composed of with phospholipids so uh, damage of placenta or any or other changes in uh, inside the uterus can cause repeated miscarriages so cardiac wall vegetation we will discuss uh, soon about ca uh, cardiac wall vegetation actually cardiac wall vegetation is a condition in which uh, thrombus formation occurs in the heart so we can say it's a vegetation in the heart so uh, um, when any bacteria uh, uh, when uh, whenever any bacteria uh, uh, get uh, locked into uh, vegetati vegetation in the heart well it can cause infection so uh, we can say it's a infection infectious endocarditis condition so uh, and if a vegetation is without any infection there is no just only thrombus uh, is present and without any uh, infectious bacteria or viral agent then we can say it's a, a non-infectious endocarditis or non-infectious vegetation so antiphospholipid antibodies uh, uh, syndrome in antiphospholipid it can attack on our platelets so it can cause the destruction of platelets so uh, so it can induce thrombocytopenia as well so due to uh, due to destruction and the disturbance it can also cause pulmonary embolism and hypertension as well 
let's um, uh, let's discuss uh, some detail of anti phospholipid antibody syndrome actually it's an autoimmune disease it's actually works against our body on it's produced from our tissues it's produced from our body and acts on our uh, tissues and kill them so it is very destructive for our uh, body so autoimmune diseases are very much uh, uh, very much dangerous for our body so uh, and anti how and uh, so anti phospholipid antibody syndrome is actually attacks on the anti uh, uh, acts on the phospholipid layer of cell membrane you know cell membrane is composed of with lipid bilayer which is lipids are actually phospholipids so attack on phospholipids can cause destruction of cell membrane so destruction in cell membrane can cause uh, uh, damage to cell and damage to cell ultimately can cause damage to all organ and the system uh, failure so <clears throat> And sometimes anti phospholipid antibodies are if uh, antibody uh, if these antibodies are present in the uh, blood but uh, they uh, these antibodies are unable to work or attack on tissues uh, due to uh, absence of any external factors so uh, some uh, uh, some anti uh, some function of uh, uh, these antibodies are associated or linked with some other conditions like SLE uh, systemic uh, lupus erythematosus it's actually SLE is also an autoimmune disease so it means some autoimmune disease can in initiate other autoimmune disease or helps uh, in the uh, helps the, the other autoimmune diseases so mutation in important uh, so actually anti phospholipid antibody syndrome uh, occurs due to mutation in some important genes anti phospholipid antibody syndrome actually uh, we have a uh, hldr7 gene in our body which is actually responsible for the production of mhc2 molecule protein mhc2 molecule what is the role of mhc2 molecule mhc2 molecule are present on the surface of mhc mhc2 molecule is antigen presenting uh, act as an antigen presenting molecule uh, it is present on our immune cells so uh, we am not going in detail because you are not discussing e about immunology here uh, we can discuss immunology in our uh, coming lecture but uh, not in first year so uh, in mhc condition in, in those genes which are responsible for the production of uh, uh, certain important uh, uh, immune uh, proteins like mhc2 proteins uh, uh, when these genes uh, gets mutated or mutation due to radiation or other in, in environmental factors then uh, from these mutated genes anti phospholipid antibodies form instead of mhc2 molecules so due to production of anti phospholipid antibodies uh, and due to influence of uh, some other environmental factors like uh, infections or uh, syphilis infection hcv hiv or uh, or it means those infections which can cause uh, initiate or helps uh, the, the helps uh, which can help these antibodies or which can cause damage to your immune response can or uh, in certain drugs uh, uh, so a combination of anti phospholipid antibodies and some other environmental factor can cause uh, uh, severe damage to our body our tissues or membranes here are two important examples of anti phospholipid antibodies so uh, one uh, first example is anti beta 2 glycoprotein antibodies so these are actually anti phospholipid antibodies ye kya karti hai ye attack karti hai uh, apolipoprotein h par apolipoprotein h are actually a very important molecule in our cell membrane in many cells of our uh, in many cells in is part uh, actually apolipoprotein H is actually a part of uh, cell membrane of our uh, body uh, many body cells so uh, anti phospholipid uh, so anti beta 2 glycoprotein uh, can uh, can uh, damage apolipoprotein H and ultimately uh, it can cause increase in agglutination of platelets and uh, 
and can activate endothelium and can cause uh, clot formation or stimulate uh, clot formation another important thing is anti cardiolipin antibodies anti cardiolipin antibodies are also part uh, also shape of anti phospholipid antibodies anti cardiolipin antibodies attacks on cardiolipin proteins uh, cardiolipin proteins are actually a, a phospholipid protein which are mostly present in uh, mitochondrial membrane so uh, uh, on uh, uh, attack on cardiolipin can damage the uh, mitochondrial membrane and then uh, it can damage ultimately it can cause the severe damage to the cell so autoantibodies can attack on platelets and uh, uh, plate on platelets as well and can cause this thrombocytopenia you you uh, have already studied thrombocytopenia is actually decrease in platelet count another important uh, uh, topic uh, uh, regarding uh, 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 MCQ is arterial thrombi and venous thrombi. Arterial thrombi is those thrombus, uh, those thrombi which form in the arteries, and venous thrombi are those uh, which form in the veins. So, arterial thrombi are uh, mostly uh, formed in the arteries and along with hearts. So, uh, common artery where we can observe arterial thrombi are aorta, coronary artery, and cerebral artery. And due to obstruction of uh, due to uh, obstruction in uh, co coronary artery patient can lead to a heart attack and due to obstruction in cerebral artery blood flow to the uh, due to uh, blood flow to the brain uh, become damaged so uh, venous thrombi is mostly uh, actually mostly most common case of venous thrombi is dvt deep venous thrombosis uh, uh, deep veins which are present in the uh, legs of our uh, in our legs uh, mostly dvt uh, initiate from our legs in deep veins from our legs which can cause uh, which can cause damage to uh, which can cause uh, clot formation in our deep veins and off and this clot can move into the blood in the form of embolism so uh, when we will discuss in, uh, about embolism we sh will uh, we can uh, also study venous thrombi so uh, how arterial thrombi can form due to endothelial injury or due to uh, due to some diseases of uh, blood vessels like atherosclerosis in which uh, this is genetic diseases these are some in genetic in which blood blood vessel become hard or become uh, or become abnormal then there are more chances of uh, clot formation uh, 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 occurs then uh, vasculitis vasculitis means these are actually diseases of blood vessels and trauma arterial trauma so these are actually major uh, condition in which arterial chances of arterial thrombi become increases and in case of venous when uh, venous when blood flow in the veins become damaged or uh, become abnormal then there are more chances of the development of venous thrombi uh, so arterial thrombi usually mural uh, mural mean uh, uh, it's actually a, a heart in heart can it can then it can known as a mural thrombi and uh, not occluding lumen uh, it means mostly these are actually are not present in the lumen of the ID then uh, venous thrombi are actually invariably occlusive occlusive so it means venous uh, thrombi can form in every anywhere in the veins uh, according to condition posture or any uh, trauma or any other uh, genetic cause so uh, arterial thrombi are usually gray white prevail with lines of zones we will discuss uh, about line with zone in our next slide and on the other hand venous thrombi are mostly red blue uh, with fibrin stand with line of zones so it means lines of zone are present in both condition but color of thrombi can decide uh, jo thrombus have arterial hai ya venous hai so arterial thrombi can grow red in retrograde manner on the other hand venous thrombi grows in direction of blood flow okay so uh, uh, in arterial thrombi meshwork of platelet fibrin red cells and degenerated leukocytes can occur due to these meshwork we can observe uh, uh, deficiency of uh, wbcs and rbcs as well because due to clot formation consumption of rbcs and leukocytes uh, uh, will be damaged uh, 
possibly be damaged due to uh, some uh, obstruction then venous thrombi uh, more in meshed rbcs and few platelets so uh, uh, in arterial thrombi we, we can observe uh, 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 we can observe prominent thrombocytopenia in blood analysis whereas in venous thrombi uh, usually uh, few platelets or few rbcs are actually uh, form uh, are involved in clot formation uh, so it is also known as red thrombi so venous thrombus is also known as red thrombi and the arterial thrombi is also known as the white thrombus so these are this table is very much important uh, about uh, uhs point of view so you uh, you should uh, clear about arterial thrombi and the venous thrombi so i have already told you about endocarditis or infective and non-infective endocarditis which is actually a, which is actually written in your book so uh, another important things we are going to discuss which is also very important is a post-mortem clot uh, before to start a uh, postmortem clot, you should uh, you should uh, watch some you should observe some line of sounds you can observe alternative light and dark lines it means you can in uh, in right diagram extreme right diagram you can observe that uh, light pink and dark pink pink alternative lines are present and in uh, tissue section you can observe dark and light uh, brown uh, lines alternatively so these are actually lines of zones so lines of our zones are present in uh, in the thrombus or uh, when body is when uh, when patient is alive so in uh, throm when thrombus formation occur in a live patient then we can uh, oh, uh, we we can observe line of zones uh, whatever the condition is uh, arterial thrombi or, or uh, venous thrombi we will we can observe in living tissues then aa jata hai what are the actually post mortem clot post mortem clot uh, uh, form after death of the patient so after death of patient immediately uh, blood clotting the starts so blood clotting is actually a post-mortem clot after uh, blood clot formation after death is actually a post-mortem clot so what is the difference between anti-mortem means uh, when clot when thrombus formation occurs in uh, in life in live condition in uh, living condition or in a live condition and postmortem clot is when patient is uh, uh, is under death then in uh, when patient is alive then uh, thrombus will be gross gross examination of thrombus will be dry granular fame and febrile whereas uh, postmortem clots are usually gross uh, grossly gelatinous gelatinous uh, ठीक है यू शुड यू शुड नाउ अबाउट जेलेटिन लाइक मटेरियल एंड सॉफ्ट एंड रबरी एंड एक्चुअली पोस्टमार्टम क्लोज आर वीकली अटैच टू द वॉल्स ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड यू आर यू यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट इन लिविंग टिश्यूज मोस्टली एंडोथेलियम इज इन्वॉल्व इन द क्लोट फॉर्मेशन सो अटैचमेंट इन द लिविंग टिश्यूज और इन द लिविंग बॉडी थ्रोम्बस अटैचमेंट टू द ब्लड वेसल इज इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑन द अदर हैंड पोस्टमार्टम क्लोज टेक द शेप ऑफ वेसल और इट्स बायफर्गेशन सो so uh, after that uh, blood blood gets uh, stopped or locked into the blood vessels and clot forms so uh, they so these clots become uh, attains shape similar to the blood vessel so isi tarah kya hota hai ki thrombi in living tissues shape may or may not fit their vascular uh, dekhe agar kisi ek jagah par injury hui hai living body ke andar to ho sakta hai wahan par jo clot bane wo डिफरेंट हो जरूरी नहीं है उसकी शेप जो है टोटली ब्लड वेसल की शेप की ही हो इट मीन्स कि वो हो सकता है थोड़ा सा जो है प्रोमिनेंट हो वो थोड़ा सा उभरा हुआ हो लेकिन वो ब्लड वेसल की शेप का ना हो सो इन लिविंग टिश्यूज यू कैन ऑब्जर्व लाइन ऑफ जोन्स वेयर एज इन पोस्टमार्टम क्लॉट्स यू कैन नॉट ऑब्जर्व लाइन ऑफ जोन इन स्टेट ऑफ लाइन ऑफ जोन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व येलो कवरिंग और चिकन येलो फैट चिकन फैट 
येलो कवरिंग अंडरलाइंग द रेड क्रंच जेली इट मीन्स कि जो पोस्टमार्टम क्लाउड होगा ऊपर से रेड होगा लेकिन उसके नीचे क्या होगा चिकन फैट येलो कलर में होगी येलो चिकन फैट आपको मिलेगी सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिकेशन ऑफ पोस्टमार्टम क्लाउड सो अगर आप कहते हैं कि एक जो पेशेंट था उसमें जो है थ्रोम्बोस फॉर्मेशन कब हुई ये इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ है थ्रोम्बोस फॉर्मेशन कब हुई अगर किसी पेशेंट की डेथ हुई है थ्रोम्बोस फॉर्मेशन से देन आफ्टर अटोपसी के हम डिसाइड कर सकते हैं इन दोनों को कंपेयर करके कि जो थ्रोम्बोस बना है उसकी अपेयरेंस कैसी है अगर तो उसकी अपेयरेंस जो है वो येलो चिकन लाइक है तो हम कहेंगे वो डेथ के बाद बना है लेकिन अगर उसकी जो कंडीशन अगर उसकी जो लाइन ऑफ जोन भी उस क्लॉट में है और इसके अलावा वो येलो चिकन भी नहीं था वही कहेंगे इसकी डेथ ही इस थ्रोम्बस फॉर्मेशन की वजह से हुई है एंड वी आर गोइंग टू वर्ड दवर लास्ट लाइट Our last slide is about the fate of thrombosis. Fate of thrombosis is very important when uh, when uh, when ever uh, uh, clot formation occurs, then after uh, formation or attain or after uh, for after formation of specific uh, uh, after formation of specific uh, size uh, or after attain uh, when of uh, when it gets attain certain size then thrombus uh, undergo some uh, uh, thrombus can uh, undergo some important condition uh, thrombus can propagate the thrombus enlarge through the acceleration of traditional platelet and fibrin प्रोपागेशन में क्या होता है कि जो थ्रोम्बस है वो एक्चुअली क्या करता है जहाँ पर क्लोड बना था वहाँ पर और प्लेटलेट्स और आर और बाकी डब्ल्यू जो बाकी डिफरेंट सेल हैं फिब्रिन वगैरह वो और वो क्लोडिंग फैक्टर उस इनिशियल जगह पर आते जाते हैं और और क्लोड बनता जाता है तो क्या होता है हम कह सकते हैं कि जो थ्रोम्बस बना था वो प्रोपागेट कर रहा है ठीक है सो प्रोपागेशन कैन अकर एंड नेक्स्ट इज एम्बोलिज्म वट इज़ एम्बोलाइजेशन 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 एक्चुअली दी डी अटैचमेंट ऑफ क्लॉट फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिन के इसका मतलब है जहाँ पर थ्रोम्बस बना था वहाँ पर से क्या हो गया टूट कर बाकी ब्लड वेसल में मूव करते हुए बॉडी की डिफरेंट जगहों पर चला गया तो इसको कहते हैं हम एम्बोलाइज एम्बोलाइजेशन तो वो कहीं और पर ऑब्सट्रक्शन कॉज कर सकता है ठीक है तो इसको कहते हैं एम्बोलाइजेशन तो थ्रोम्बस जो है वो एम्बोलाइजेशन में भी जा सकते हैं दैन जाता है डिसोल्यूशन अब देखेंगे अगर क्या हो जाता है इफ़ आर थ्रोम्बस इज न्यूली फॉर्म्ड एक्टिवेशन ऑफ फिब्रोलिटिक फैक्टर्स अगर क्या होता है कि क्लोड डिसॉल्व हो सकता है वो किस तरह से हो सकता है कि वो सारी प्रोटीन्स जो कि क्लोटिंग प्रोटीन को इनएक्टिव करती हैं अगर वो प्रोटीन एक्टिव हो जाती हैं जो कि क्लोटिंग प्रोटीन को इनएक्टिव करती हैं दैन क्लोटिंग प्रोटीन जो है उनकी इनहिबिशन हो जाएगी जब इनहिबिशन हो जाएगी तो क्लोड जो है वो डिजोल्व भी हो सकता है मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मैकेनिज्म जिसमें है वो फिब्रिनो लाइसिस है अगर फिब्रिनो लाइसिस फैक्टर जो है फिब्रिनोलिटिक फैक्टर्स जो हैं वो एक्टिव हैं दैन वो लास्ट पर क्या करते हैं फिब्रिनोलाइसिस कर सकते हैं जब फिब्रिनोलाइसिस हो जाती है तो क्लोड जो है वो रिजोल्व हो जाता है डिजोल्व हो जाता है ठीक हो गया एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड रिकनालाइजेशन एक्चुअली ऑर्डर थ्रो बाई बिकम ऑर्गेनाइज बाई द इन ग्रोथ ऑफ एंडोथीलियम सेल्स अब देखें ऐसे क्लोड जो कि ज़्यादा लंबे अरसे से हैं सो विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम वो क्लोड जो है अगर वो ब्लड वेसल वहाँ से तंग है तो उन क्लोड की वजह से तो उन क्लोड्स में ही क्या होता है उन वो ब्लड वेसल की शेप ही परमानेंटली वैसे हो जाती है क्यों क्योंकि वहाँ पर उस एबनॉर्मल क्लोड पर एंडोथीलियल सेल ग्रो कर जाते हैं तो वैसे होता है जैसे कि यहाँ पर ब्लड वैसल ही ऐसी थी तो इसको कहते हैं ऑर्गनाइज हो जाना कि वो जो है वो क्लोड था उसको परमानेंटली क्या किया गया एंडोथीलियम ने पार्ट ही बना लिया है ऑब्वियसली ये कंडीशन डेंजरस हो गई बिकॉज के इसलिए कि जो है अगर किसी ब्लड वेसल के अंदर ऐसा क्लोड बन गया तो ऑब्वियसली वहाँ पर साइज कम हो जाएगा वहाँ पर क्या है डायमीटर ब्लड वेसल का डिक्रीज हो जाएगा एंड ऑब्सट्रक्शन चांसेज ऑब्सट्रक्शन बिकम हाई सो ऐसे में क्या होता है इसको कहते हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड रिकनालाइजेशन ठीक है ये इम्पोर्टेंट जो है फेट्स थी कि जो थ्रोम्बस है उसके साथ क्या हो सकता है एन अदर इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज़ कैल्सिफिकेशन 
जो ऐसे क्लोट है अगर वो लंबे अरसे के लिए तो वहाँ पर कैल्शियम डिपॉजिट हो सकता है इट्स अ वेरी मोर इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग कैल्शियम आफ्टर डेपोजिशन बिकम हार्ड सो टिश्यू जहाँ सॉरी वो ब्लड वेसल जहाँ पर ये कैल्शियम डिपॉजिट हो जाए किसी क्लोट में तो वो जगह हार्ड हो जाती है ठीक है सो उस जगह वो जो हार्ड जगह है उसको इस प्रोसेस को कहा जाता है डेपोजिशन ऑफ कैल्शियम इज़ एक्चुअली कैल्सीफिकेशन और जब वो चीज़ जगह हार्ड हो जाती है तो वहाँ पर लचक और इस तरह की जो स्ट्रेच है वो ख़त्म हो जाता है सो ड्यू टू डिस्ट्रक्शन ड्यू टू एब नॉर्मल डेपोजिशन ऑफ कैल्शियम दैन इट इट बिकम डेंजरस फॉर आवर वर्किंग और आवर नॉर्मल वर्किंग ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम सो क्योंकि कैल्शियम का डेपोजिशन हो जाना एक्चुअली ये हार्ड हो जाता है जब हार्ड हो जाता है तो जब जो चीज़ हार्ड होती है जब उस पर प्रेशर लगता है तो वहाँ से वो रपच्चर हो सकती है और इस तरह कैल्सीफिकेशन अल्टीमेटली एब नॉर्मल डेपोजिशन ऑफ कैल्शियम इज 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 एनी वेज इज डेंजरस चाहे जैसी भी हो लेकिन यू स्टडी डेट के कैल्शियम के क्लो uh, जो है स्टोन बन जाते हैं किडनी में क्यों बन जाते हैं इसे भी कहा जाता है कैल्सीफिकेशन तो वो क्लोड वो सॉरी वो जो स्टोन हैं वो डेंजरस हैं इसी तरह यहाँ पर भी थ्रोम्बस में भी ऐसे ही है थैंक यू